And we start with breaking news. Good afternoon. It is always good to see you. I'm Larry Miller and we begin with some tense moments this morning at the US Capitol and the White House. Employees were told to either evacuate their offices or remain in place because a small plane violated airspace rules. WSNI's Matt Gregory standing near the Capitol right now with the very latest on this story. Matt. Yeah, like you said, Larry, tense moments for sure. And uh, the only people who were really aware as it was going on what was happening were the security personnel. Now, as we get back into it, everything obviously is back to normal here on the mall and outside the Capitol. But let's take you back to those tense moments from this morning, which was right around 830. That's when uh, we're getting reports from Capitol Police that right around 830 is when the warning for a small aircraft entering restricted airspace came in. Obviously, people are trying to take things uh, as lightheartedly as possible. So as the White House went under lockdown when this happened. So did uh, Capitol Police. You can see they were out in the streets, uh, shutting down streets. Security blocked off streets as well. And the Capitol building itself went under lockdown. Uh, there was evacuations for Hill offices. But uh, after a half hour, that's when this thing sort of wrapped up. By 9 o'clock, everything was back to business as usual. But it was really a brief diversion for many of the tourists. We were on the metro and we were coming in just to see the city and to and to do some sightseeing and it's a beautiful day and we we got the text you know the alert that said that the, the capital was on lockdown so we said eh, that might change our plans a little bit it's it's okay it's kind of a it's kind of a reality when you live here in the beltway Yeah, that's one of those things you just heard him say right there. It's reality when you live just outside the Beltway that these things happen and that it's such a, uh, an important area and such a, an area of high security that they have to take every precaution seriously. Most tourists I talked to weren't even aware it had happened. In fact, that was one of the few uh, families we were able to find that were aware of the lockdown. But in the meantime, I was talking to my colleague Bruce Lashan, who's going to be picking up this story going into the afternoon. Lashan tells me uh, that he spoke with uh, someone from NORAD, and NORAD said at this point they're not taking the small aircraft seriously as a threat. So he'll be picking up the story this afternoon. We'll have more on our website, WSA9.com, and Bruce will be bringing you more throughout the afternoon and into the evening uh, from uh, our live, uh, live shows and our different productions. So if you get a chance, uh, please go to WSA9.com, take a look at those stories. We can update you throughout the afternoon. For now, on Capitol Hill, I'm Matt Gregory. Back to you. All right, Matt, thank you.